Our oceans are vast, beautiful, and dangerous. Beauty lies within the hidden depths ever mysterious. Even now we lack knowledge about the truths of our oceans and what truly lurks within them. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three oceanic discoveries. Scientists deem whales that keep washing up on California beaches unusual. Throughout the years, we have not treated our oceans with the respect they deserve. Now, whales have been washing up on Californian beaches. So far, more than 20 whales have perished upon the sands of the Golden Coast within the past few months. It's believed that the cause is not as simple as one, but several factors, such as the ongoing climate crisis and ships bashing into whales at high speeds, wounding or fatally harming them. In the Californian Bay area, a fin whale and a massive 47-foot pygmy sperm whale were found beached, and even earlier in 2022, four whales washed up on Californian beaches in less than 10 days. Overall, it's believed that just over a dozen whales have been discovered deceased on beaches this year in the state of California alone. According to the spokesman for the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration, Michael Milstein, the entire phenomenon is atypical and extremely concerning, yet 2022 has not even been the worst year for whales. In 2019, the total number of whales found perished reached 34. In 2021, that number totaled 18. By comparison, this has been a calm year, and yet nonetheless worrying. Since 2019, investigations have been ongoing to determine a direct cause for this frighteningly high number of whale deaths. Evidently, our sea life is threatened. Fortunately, the overall population of whales is not yet endangered, but should things continue on this path, there is no telling what could happen to them in the near future. Only six years ago, biologists believed there to be 26,000 whales living in northern American oceans. By 2022, they believe that the population has fallen to less than 20,000. The Biden administration has been urged by oceanic scientists to discuss with the US Navy reforms of sea life safety codes. Her Majesty's Australian ship, known as the HMAS, was said to have wounded several whales which entered the San Diego naval base, causing them to lose their lives. As such, biologists are pleading for the Navy to readjust its rulings when it comes to its treatment of sea creatures. The official statement by the National Marine Fisheries Services was, these deceased whales are grisly proof of the Navy's dire ongoing threat to vulnerable marine mammals. We're asking the Biden administration to find a better balance of marine protection with military readiness. Hopefully these majestic creatures will be rescued and treated with sufficient care in the future. Navy to re-examine effects of Pacific training exercises the US Navy is going to analyze its impacts on the population of sea mammals. There are endangered species within regions of Hawaii and Southern California, which scientists are worried will soon become extinct if nothing is done and the Navy's harmful underwater training protocols remain unrestrained. This change was only implemented after the Center of Biological Diversity made their intent to sue public, with some critics believing that if they hadn't, the Navy would have continued hurting sea creatures without care for the environmental damage. The intent to sue occurred after the discovery that San Diego's military destroyer vessel took the lives of two fin whales which were attached to its hull as the vessel dragged their carcasses across the waters back to port. This happened in May of 2022, and the fin whales were found to be that of a mother whale and her calf. The Navy claimed that those aboard the military destroyer were not aware of the whales they hit as they were focused on military training, only discovering the whale bodies once the vessel docked. A coalition was formed between the National Fisheries Service and the Center of Biological Diversity to tackle the rampant issue of fated whales, both deciding that the Navy has to respond to its actions for the sake and future of sea animals in the Pacific. Kristen Monsell, who is the legal director of the Center of Biological Diversity, has stated, we're glad to see the Navy re-examining the harms of its training exercises on these mighty but vulnerable creatures. These military activities can wreak havoc on whales, dolphins, and other marine mammals through explosions, sonar, and ship strikes. 
We hope this process leads to new mitigation measures like slowing ships down in important whale habitats. Although they cannot be blamed for the causation of all fated whales in the Pacific, the Navy's vessel strikes are now a known factor feeding deeper into the problem biologists are desperately trying to solve. Back in April, the Centre petitioned for the federal government to create a speeding limit for ships and boats passing through whale habitats with a maximum 10-knot speed limit on the waves to protect the whales from further danger. Federal records reveal that in the area of the west coast alone, there were more than 26 ship strikes recorded over a four-year period. It's theorized that the number of annual vessel strikes could be up to 20 times the recorded number. This is believed due to the fact that whales which do not wash up on beaches sink into the ocean, never to be seen on the surface again. Underwater explosions, used by the Navy as military practice, also damage sea life and put whales and other beings at risk. These explosions may not necessarily wound or kill them, but the aftermath can be horrific, with whales falling sick, becoming infertile or disturbing their breeding, ability to feed, or by messing with whale migration zones. Zooplankton, a building block of all aquatic life, is vastly damaged by the sound of these explosions. Currently, the Navy is protected by a permit granted to them in 2018, which was meant to last five years but has since been extended to be active until 2025. This permit allows them to be exempt from repercussions regarding any sea mammals, including dolphins and whales, that they injure, harm or otherwise during this time in the areas of Hawaii and Southern California, as long as recorded cases of wounded sea life does not exceed 12.5 million. So far, the reported numbers have revealed more than 3,000 various marine mammals have been injured, 20 of which were humpback whales. There have been just under 10,000 cases of wounded or deceased blue whales. Ocean life projected to end in mass extinction Scientists fear that an aquatic mass extinction is underway. According to recent studies, nearly 90% of selected aquatic species have been marked for high-priority endangerment or thought to be at severe risk of going extinct in the next century. Biologists warn that due to the overwhelming amount of carbon in the water, the environment of the sea is changing fast, for the worse. The Dalhousie University of Canada has assembled a team of respected scientists and researchers to investigate sea life. Their findings revealed that the 25,000 species they have observed Nearly all of them will fall to extinction if nothing is done to lessen the situation. If our greenhouse gas emissions stay at these high rates, many of these oceanic creatures, protozoans, bacteria, algae, fish and sea mammals will vanish from the planet by the year 2100. Other research revealed that creatures higher on the food chain are more likely to perish than those lower on it. A wide range of oceanic ecosystems will be affected including but not limited to the Coral Triangle, Australian coasts, the Red Sea, the Gulfs of Persia and Thailand, and the Caribbean. The study has been quite startling and sobering, in the words of ecologist Daniel Boyce of the Institute of Oceanography. Notably, Boyce notes that this is still speculation and nothing is set in stone, but that it could be a potential outcome of the consequences of global warming. According to Boyce, it's the worst-case scenario, and when we evaluated that scenario, we found that there was a very grim picture for the climate risk for marine species. If even a handful of these species were to fade out of existence as a result of extinction, it would reap horrific results on the world's many ecosystems and would impact the world food chain directly. 252 million years ago was the last time the planet suffered a major extinction event, when 90% of life was demolished, deemed to be the great dying by researchers. We can only hope that adequate actions will be taken to prevent such a tragic future for our planet. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.